Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see binary to gray and gray to binary conversion and let us understand why gray code is required. Gray code is also called as reflected binary code. It is also known as reflected binary. It is named as gray code after Frank Gray, he ordered a binary number system in such a way that two successive values differ in only one bit position. It means if you look at the gray code and the normal natural binary numbers here, these gray codes, if you check 0 and 1 or 1 and 2 or 2 and 3, these values are differ only in one bit. Here it is 0000. If you look at 1, it is changed to 0001. Means this bit is only changed. If you look at 1 and 2, this bit is same, the second bit is changed. Similarly, if you look at 2 and 3, the first bit is changed and the rest of the bits are same. So if you look at the successive values like this, only one bit difference you are going to get. But it is not so in binary numbers. If you look at 1 and 2, this one is also changed to 0, this 0 is also changed to 1. So there are multiple bit changes in binary numbers. And in gray code, we can expect only one bit change. That is the advantage of gray code. If you see this pictorial representation, here these values 0 to 15 are represented with the black colored binary numbers and these orange colored gray numbers. And here these white cells representing zeros and these orange cells representing ones. So if you compare 0 and 1, it will be having only one orange color difference compared to these two. Similarly, 2 to 3, 2 is 0, 0, 1, 1, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 0 in gray code. Similarly, you can compare any of the two successive numbers, you will find only one difference. And the advantages of this gray code is that it is less prone to errors. So gray codes are not sensitive to glitches and errors because of only one bit change compared to the previous value. Now let us convert a binary to gray. Here I have taken this as binary and this as gray code. B3 corresponds to MSB and B0 corresponds to LSB. Similarly in gray code also this is MSB and this is LSB. So while converting binary to gray, we need to start with MSB. This MSB bit G3 will be same as B3. And how to get G2 means we need to take B3 and B2 into consideration and we need to XR those two. So we will be getting G3 is equal to B3, G2 is equal to B3 XR B2. So to get G1, we need to XR B2 and B1. To get G0, we need to XR B1 and B0. So these four expressions G3, G2, G1, G0 corresponds to MSB to LSB values of this gray code. This is how we will be getting the logical circuit also. B3 to G3 directly we have. B3 and B2 we need to XR to get G2. B1 and B2 can be XR to get G1. B1, B0 XRing we will be getting G0. This is binary to gray conversion. How to convert gray to binary? Again I am taking gray here at the top and this is binary values. Here also we need to start with MSB. The binary number B3 will be same as G3 at the MSB. The next bit B2 will be obtained by utilizing B3 and XRing that with G2. Here B3 XR with G2 gives B2. Similarly B1 will be obtained by XRing B2 and G1. And similarly B0 by using B1 XR with G0. So these four are the bitwise expressions for binary number. So for this if you write the logical circuit again G3 same for B3 using this B3 and G2 XRing we will be getting B2 using this B2 and G1 we will be getting B1 B1 XR with G0 will be get we get B0. This is the simple process to convert binary to gray and gray to binary. So if you want to write the Verilog code for this gray to binary and binary to gray conversion, you can use the same expressions. You can use the logical expressions and you can implement it using a Verilog code. So let us take an example to convert binary to gray now. So this is 0, 
101 is the binary number. Here we need to write the gray code. So first thing is that here 0 will be as it is. That is, let me write it as B3. This is B2. This is B1. This is B0. So this is G3. G3 will be same as B3. So to get G2 what we need to do? We need to XR these two. While XRing these two, 0, 1 gives 1. That is G2. So this is G1. How to get G1? XRing these two. Again 1, 0 gives 1. To get G0, we need to XR B1 and B0. 0, 1 gives 1 again. So this is our gray code for this binary. Similarly, let us convert gray to binary. Let me take the same gray code here. 0, 1, 1, 1 as my gray code. Now let us convert into binary. Again, this is MSB. So I need to write this MSB as it is 0 to get. So now this is B3. To get B2, what we need to do? We need to XR this B3 with this G2. So XR in 0, 1, it gives 1 here. So again for B1, we need to XR B2 and G1. XR in these two, 1, 1 gives 0 as a result. Now we need to XR B1 and G0 to get B0. XR in these two will be getting 1. Now this is the binary for this gray code. You can see here 0, 1, 0, 1 is the binary code what I get for this gray code. Here I have taken binary as 0, 1, 0, 1. So this matches with this. So this is how we can convert binary to gray and gray code back to binary. Thank you.